Hello and welcome to the channel where I talk about money, how to make it, how to save it, how to invest it. I'm Trajan, I'm a former financial planner and CFO. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about making money as a teenager. So if you are a teenager or you have teenagers, I hope this can give you some ideas. So listen up and if you like this video and like the content, then please subscribe and give this video a like and a thumbs up. So the first, the first job for the summer, or for the, the year actually, is learning how to code. There are a lot of programs that you can learn online that learn the, teaches you how to do programming that's pretty simple and straightforward, especially now with so many AIs that, that help and assist in programming. It's becoming easier and easier to program, to build a website, to build a blog, to build an email list, to do all the things that we do on, online to set up social media accounts. So learning to, learning to code and learning social media and how it works are skills that are very in demand and very useful. And it's a gateway that a lot of entrepreneurs that I know have used to get into starting a business. They actually start developing websites and then grow that into, into a design firm or a website firm or a marketing firm, or they just build a completely different kind of business based on the skills of programming and they know how to program and then they can manage programmers or they become an engineer and they manage en engineers. It's a great, it's a great gateway program, a uh, great gateway skill learning how to code. And it also pays very well and you can do it anywhere in the world. So especially if you live somewhere rural, rural, and there aren't a lot of clients around, you can do it online and don't have to go anywhere. And people don't mind if you're a teenager working on their projects. In fact, I've had three different experiences where I've hired somebody um, that was online and they've done a great job and I get to know them after working with them for a few, few months. And in three different instances, I found out that they were teenagers and they did such a great job that I didn't mind because their work product was quality and their price was great and they did, they did a great job and I didn't mind that they were teenagers. Because if you're a great, if you're a great coder, if you're a great designer or, or programmer or web designer, it doesn't matter how old you are like that old comic from the New Yorker, um, from the, from the dot com era said that on, on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. And it's a picture of a dog working on a computer. And in this era, nobody knows you're a teenager. So working online in coding and programming web design is a great skill to develop when you're a teenager. Okay. Number two out of three is, um, is lawn aerating. This is more of a summer job. It's seasonal, but it's very low cost. You, and it's different than, just the regular mowing the lawns and taking care of yard work is more specialized because there's a lot of competition for that. But aerating is very low competition. You go and you get an aerating machine, which looks kind of like a lawnmower. It's got these prongs that stick in the, stick in the ground. And so you just roll over the ground like you would a lawnmower and it po pokes holes in the lawn and aerates it. And that helps the lawn get better fertilized and grow. And it's, it's seasonal. You only do it once or twice, twice a year but you just go and get the machine and then you build up a client list. And I actually had a friend that did this during high school and college and made tens of thousands of dollars every, every Sunday, summer because he didn't have any competition. Nobody else was doing it and he could do it year after year. He'd build up his clients. First year he did it 10 times and the next year he did it 40 times. And then the next year he did it 70 times. So he, every year he'd just go back to those same clients. So it got easier and easier and his cost of capital was very minimal because all he needed was an aerating machine and gas to go in it. And he'd go and he'd do the lawn and he'd charge them and then he'd call him the next year and say, hey, um, let me schedule you for, for this summer. And he'd spend all summer do, aerating lawns and every year he would just keep doing it and made lots of money and he put himself through college aerating lawns because there was no, no to low competition and his client list just kept growing and growing and he eventually sold that business once he was out of college. Um, so I think that's one of the best businesses you can do as, as, um, as a teenager. The third and last business, which I really like is getting a power washer, go to Costco or the hardware store, go to home Depot, spend a couple hundred dollars buying a power washer. And again, it's differentiated. It's different than just mowing lawns. You don't have a lot of people doing this, but you can provide a lot of several different services with a power washer. You can wash garbage cans. I had some kids doing this in my neighborhood where they sent around a flyer. They said, well, wash your garbage cans, those big garbage cans that the city provides. 
they charge $75 to wash each garbage can. And they did a lot every Saturday. They just every month Saturday, they're just washing garbage cans, charging $75 a pop. They'd go around the neighborhood, collect them all in the in the back of their trailer, back of their truck, take them to their house and just wash them all at the same time and then go take them, take them back. So that is a great return on capital if you're just spending, say, $300 on a power washer and you're charging $75 a can and you can do dozens of cans uh, every, every Saturday. And once you get your neighborhood, you move on to the next neighborhood. So you can actually make a lot of money just washing, washing those big garbage cans. And then anything else that you can wash with a power washer, you can wash people's decks, you can wash their houses, you can wash their windows, you wash their cars. You gotta be careful, make sure you know how to use a power washer if you're washing anything that is painted like a house or a car. You can wash the driveway, you can clean off the, the gutters, you can clean off the, the rain gutters. There's a lot you can, you can do with just that one capital, capital investment of having a power washer that then you can provide service to a, a, a lot of different services to one house um, all at once. And like, like the area business, you build up that clientele every year, you can go back to the same people and say, hey, last year you had me wash your garbage cans and wash your, wash your, your deck and wash your, your street. Would you like me to do it again? And especially older families or older couples that aren't as mobile as they used to, they love to pay to have, have teenagers just go and clean everything down for the year. And the next year, just call them back and offer that, that same service. And you build up that clientele year after year. And then the great thing about having that clientele, whether it's aerating, aerating lawns and or power washing, is then when winter rolls around, you can offer to, to rake the leaves or put up the Christmas lights or uh, uh, shovel the sidewalks. And then you've got that same clientele that you can provide multiple services to year round. Um, in the spring, it's aerating. In the summer, it's power washing. In the fall, it's raking leaves. In the winter, it's putting up Christmas lights and shoveling the snow. And you, you've got happy clients that are continually paying you for a service every season. And then you keep adding clients as you do that year after year as you're a teenager. And then you keep either doing it through, through college or you turn it into a real business or you hire people to continue it or you sell it. And that's a way, a great way that you can start a business, do some work for some extra money as a teenager without having to put in a lot of money for equipment or, 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 or services or licenses or whatever. It's very low cost and high revenue and uh, a great way to build a business. If you like these, uh, let me know down below or if you think there's a better business, a better, a better hustle for, side hustle for teenagers to do, then let me know. And if you like this video, give it a like and, uh, and a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, oh and by the way, I have other videos about how to make money as an adult. I've done a lot of different ways to make money throughout my 30 year career and I made several videos about it and I'll link that playlist down below. So check it out.